Dr. Zervos, how serious uh, is this swine flu issue? Well, we are very alar alarmed about it. It is, uh, it's been a significant problem in Mexico where there have been at least 1,400 cases with 100 deaths, and there are at least six states now in the United States that have had cases. So far, cases have been relatively infrequent with about uh, 21 cases so far reported by the Centers for Disease Control. So we are very concerned about it, but it's not a crisis. How alarmed should the general public be about this uh, situation right now? Well, I think the general public also should be concerned about it, uh, particularly somebody who has traveled to Mexico, has been around somebody who's uh, traveled to Mexico with respiratory illness. They should be concerned. They don't need to be alarmed or panic about it, but they should be concerned about it. And if somebody has respiratory symptoms and they've been around somebody who's been to Mexico or they've been to Mexico themselves and they have symptoms, they should seek medical attention. What are the symptoms and signs that people should be on the lookout for? The symptoms of swine flu are no different from usual flu. They're things like fever, cough, muscle aches. Uh, sometimes there can be nausea, sometimes there can be diarrhea, and uh, the, the symptoms are no different from what we would typically see with usual or regular flu. What has happened in Mexico is that there have been more serious cases and people have also developed pneumonia, but the more serious findings related to, uh, to, avian flu, to uh, swine flu haven't been seen in the United States. How effective are the medications that are available to treat uh, swine flu? Uh, we do have very effective both prevention and treatment measures. If somebody is diagnosed early, there are antiviral medications that can be given, and we recommend giving antiviral medication up to three days into illness, particularly if somebody has a serious underlying disease, if they have an immune-compromised condition, uh, like cancer or HIV or some other serious underlying disease, we recommend treatment or also if they're more seriously ill. And finally, one last question. Um, what's the best thing I could do as, uh, as a way to protect myself against contracting this uh, influenza? Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, flu vaccine that was available this year does not protect against swine flu. Also, it's not possible to get swine flu from eating pork. The way that the, the germ is spread between people is by being around somebody else, who's, somebody else who's sick. So if somebody around you is coughing or sneezing and has the illness, then it's possible to get it from being around somebody else who's sick. So the, the best way of preventing it is by not being around somebody for a long period of time who's sick, not to touch your mouth or your nose because that's also a way that the virus can be spread by touching somebody else or touching a surface where the organism is present and then touching your mouth and nose by washing hands a lot would be the other way that it can be prevented. We feel that many of these are preventable and uh, those would be the most important measures to prevent infection.